hello guys welcome to a new video and in this new video we are going to um, import a load a Cisco Dynamips image into Eve and G um, so before we start with this um, uh, with this video you need to have installed FileZilla and you also need to have a way to either SS to SSH into Eve and G so uh, to SSH, if you have a Windows device, you can use PuTTY um, and you can SSH into it. But since I have a Linux machine, I can do that straight from the terminal. So let's go ahead and first open FileZilla. There we go. I have FileZilla open. So let's go ahead and connect into the host. And the host that I have to connect to is my EVNG IP address, which, which is 192.168.0.13. The host name is root, the password is eve, port is 22. Let's go ahead and connect to it, always trust. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have now um, um, enter into the eve ng, as you can see right here. And now what we need to do is we need to go back and we need to go into the opt and then you want to go into unit lab, add-ons, and you want to go into the Dynamips um, directory. And since I have my um, Cisco image, I have it on my desktop. I just need to go ahead and um, have this and drag it into that location. Like I said, the location is um, you need to go to OPT. Um, after OPT, you need to go to Unilab. After Unilab, you need to go to the Dynamips. And as you can see right now, it is transferring that file um, as I'm speaking. Um, it has eight seconds left. And after that is done, we want to SSH into um, EVMG. And for a Linux device, you can do that straight from the terminal. And if you have a Windows device, you can um, SSH into it with um With, with, I'm sorry with the <laughs> with the with a Linux machine you can SSH from the terminal and with a Windows device you can SSH into it with PuTTY so since I have a Linux machine and I don't need to install anything I can just SSH from the terminal so from this terminal I'm going to do SSH then you want to do the um, the username and then you're going to add the host name that 0 that 13 let's go ahead and say yes password is Eve and there we go. So we are now inside this Eve NG um, system. So after you do that, you want to do a CD, and you want to go to the OBT, Unilab, Add-ons, and you want to go into the Dynamics. There we go. And <clears throat> from here, you want to list to see what you have in here. You can go ahead and list it, and you can see that there is the image that I transfer. Um, using FileZilla, remember I transfer this one from my desktop to that location that I SSH into. Okay, and you can do the same um, if you have a Windows device and you SSH using PuTTY. It is the same location. Okay, so after that is done, let's go ahead and make this bigger um, so you can see the entire command. Um, what we need to do over here is you, we want to unzip. Um, we want to unzip this um, this uh, Cisco image or the Cisco router. Go ahead and paste it, and then you want to do um, and you want to name it image. And that should take a couple seconds. As you can see, it is done. Now, if you go ahead and list it, you can see that you have two. You have this bin right here that is zip, and then you have that unzip one. Which is this one right here, which is the one that Eve and G is going to use whenever they load that router. Um, so we are done with that. After we are done with that, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and fix the permissions. So you want to go ahead and do a. You want to go into OPT, Unilab, wrappers, and then you want to do U N L underscore wrapper um, dash or negative A and then you want to do fix 
for missions just like that that's good and we are done so what we can do now we are going to go into the even G front of browser and you want to go ahead and add a new lab and let's just go ahead and call it test um, no description all that timeout all that is good save it and you want to go ahead and add an object it's going to be a node you want to go ahead and do a Cisco and you can see it right here Cisco iOS um, 7026 VRX Dynamips select it um, you can go ahead and add a slot let's go ahead and add this one right here this one right here and the last one over here and start our configuration if you want to load a configuration you could do it over here but and also if you want to add another um, a different icon for that router you can go ahead and also do that over here but we're going to leave the default one let's go ahead and save it good so now let's go ahead and move it over here and we're going to right click on it start and after that is starting what you could do is you can double click on it and that should bring up or just I guess one click and you can see right here that my router is loading right now so this is set for this video guys um, I hope you guys learn how to um, how to import a Cisco iOS Dynamips um, and this is set for this video guys if you guys enjoy this video why don't you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit the like button and if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment below thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one guys bye bye